8 o'clock on Sunday, December 18th, and we have been driving for the last hour and 15 minutes. We have two hours to go, and we are going to pick up our baby boy and bring him home, and we're just so excited. Like, I can't believe this day is finally here. <laughs> Coffee and open road. We stopped in this little town. We are in the town of Bancroft and the breeder told us there's one Tim Hortons and if you need to use the washroom, go now because then you're driving straight for 50 Continue minutes. For 56 kilometers. So we pull up to the Tim Hortons and it was closed and there's like, it's closed by like a cardboard sign that says closed until and then we couldn't meters. see. We pulled into the gas station across the street and we're gonna stop here to use the washroom before we go pick up our Cavapoo. Turn left. You have arrived. Oh, the puppies are running. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god! Hey! Your name is Brio. Yeah, your name that. is Brio. <laughs> You're Italian. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be whether you want to be. You're a little bit French, but we'll go with the Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Last night was a success in our book. We weren't sure what to expect, but I think it went really well. Poor guy was feeling just really overwhelmed yesterday. Um, he ended up throwing up twice in the car. The car ride was three and a half hours, so I don't blame him. He was like really timid and scared. The breeder put it in a way that made a lot of sense to us. She said, this is the best day of your lives, but the worst day of his. And I totally understand, like he is taken away from his parents, his mom and his siblings and the environment that he's known his whole life and now is like brought into a new environment with new people. And so um, she gave us very strict instructions to try to keep his world the same as much as possible. Um, so she gave us like bottles of his water, the water that like she gives them, like she has like a filtration system. And at first that didn't make sense to me. I was like, ah, water's water. But then I was like, no, you know when you travel somewhere and like the water tastes different? Yeah, 
so <laughs> that made a lot of sense so you're giving him um, his water and the same food she also gave us one of his blankets trying to keep all of those elements the same but obviously so much has changed for him and he was very timid yesterday like very very timid um he did not even want to do potty outside we both tried so many times bringing him out and we'd be outside for like 15 minutes and he would just sit there and stare at us until last night we had our first success he did one potty inside in his playpen on like the mat that we have so not a big deal i washed it and put it back right away and that's not going to have been the only case so far so he threw up twice in the car and then once outside when we brought him home like he ate and then i think he was just like still overwhelmed and it caused him to throw up we got in touch with the breeder and she said like that is totally normal obviously it's not nice but like he's just his world is flipped upside down so she didn't think that was unusual and today he is a different personality he's really warming up and getting comfortable and it's so great to see we fed him and we've been like trying to hand feed him a little bit and like reward him with this kibble too we're just giving him kibble no treats at this point that's what the breeder recommended she's like you wouldn't give a baby candy would you um i mean we did buy some treats that are like supposed to be very natural ingredients so i don't think it's like the equivalent of candy but just to make sure that like his he were keeping things the same for him not changing too many things and also that he doesn't have like an allergic reaction to something we're just keeping him on his same kibble and like using his kibble as a reward like as a treat so so far so good and then we are just going to play with him now and get into our routine and it's he's just incredible he is perfect he is everything that i wanted and more and i am so in love with him <laughs> we are exhausted i don't know like yesterday was just like an emotional day and then like the week leading up to this we just like were preparing for him work was super stressful because now i'm off of work for the next two weeks so as daniel it's like so exciting to like have this time together and it's like really been bonding us and the dog and i'm just happy this is our backyard here, so this is where we've been taking him and this is where he is normally doing potty. <laughs> Good boy. Getting him comfortable with his crate. He slept in it well last night, but we didn't have a chance to like, he was so timid yesterday that we didn't have a chance to like properly warm him up to his crate, so. I'm just in the kitchen. I put some rice on. We're gonna make a stir fry and Daniel went to the grocery store. I'm cleaning up the kitchen, but puppy is crying. He went potty, he just ate. We played so much and now he's in his playpen because I can't supervise him. I need to like clean the kitchen. We've been together all day and he's crying. It only lasts a few minutes. And then he gets used to it and figures it out and like goes to sleep or sometimes he plays by himself. It's really cute but it just breaks my heart. And this is like the hard part that those videos, those training videos, they don't tell you that he's gonna cry. Or maybe you just don't realize because we didn't realize how badly he would cry, but he's so cute. The breeder told us to just ignore him because he needs to learn, but it's really hard. And earlier today when we had him in his playpen, we were in the other room so he couldn't see us and he figured it out a lot faster. But now that he can see us, so I'm standing here in the other room and he's right there. I think it's harder. I'm gonna ignore him, clean the kitchen, and eventually we're gonna make dinner. Come on! Too much. Woo! Hi. Hi. 
Hi, baby. Hello. This is my third day at home, and I'm so confident now. I even tried to jump off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we just came back in. Mm, he's such a good boy. He just did the morning in his crate after he played and peed and pooed and ate and drank. Then he just did an hour and a half in his crate. Well, in the playpen, but he decided to go in his crate. And then I just took him out for potty. And now we're running up and down the hallway. <laughs> he's biting at everything. He's teething. You're such a good boy, though. You're such a good boy. Now he's tired. Okay, go in your playpen. I love you. He's doing so well with his potty. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Okay, time to go in your crate. Mwah. This is the hardest part. Just letting him cry. But he has everything he needs. All his needs are met. He just wants to play and be with me. Rio likes ice cubes. Get that out of your way. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. Good morning from me and Brio. Sit. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> He's definitely found his personality and his energy. It is currently 7.24. And this is our morning routine. <laughs> what you missed is our potty break. I got him up, well, he got up at 1.00. Well, we got him up at 1, took him out for potty, and we got him up at 4.45 or 5, and then now I'm up with him at 7. He did potty, he did it right away, and then I take him in the bathroom with me while I go to the bathroom and wash up, and then now we're here. So I'm turning on my coffee maker, which I just did, <laughs> and I'm going to feed him because he's crying. So we are starting to transition his food today. So this will be day one. Um, Daniel actually measured it all out in like, it's a 10 day process. So we measured it out in like 10 Ziploc bags and labeled them day one to day 10 with the dates. So I'm just gonna grab the bag from day one and give him a third of it and then he eats three times a day. Probably not very good that I was holding him and he was crying and then I put him down and he thinks that if he cries, I'll put him down, but we're learning here. These are all the bags that I was talking about. So this is day one. Today is December 22nd. And then all the other bags are in here. And I ordered them from day one to day 10 at the back. So we used some of his food for training. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Oh, you dropped it. Look. Look, look, look. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Practicing him staying in that sit position. He learned to sit on day three. Today's day five. So he's very smart, but we're just trying to reinforce it now. So making him stay longer and also in different areas of the house because we normally do this here in the kitchen. So he's used to it in the kitchen, but we're trying in other areas. Sit. Good boy. This camera is awful at fo focusing. I'm gonna buy a new camera, I swear. I'm gonna buy one today. So now we are working on, we're making his playpen his favorite place in the world. We're working on it. 
And so, oh, I forgot to wash his bowls. Let me do that and I'll come back. But I'm gonna give him the rest of the food in his playpen. We have been doing this for the last two days and he's been crying a lot less. We're trying to make his playpen a really positive experience. But let me wash his bowls and I'll come back. Come here. We realize we are underfeeding him because the instructions on the back of the bag, we are going by the weight that he is right now, but we have to go by his target weight. I think we've been underfeeding him for the last three days, so now he's getting his proper amount. We're transitioning his food, so it's very gradual. This is mostly his same food, just a little bit of, I think it's like 10% new food. And we're also trying to make sure it's like the only thing that we're changing for him today so that there's any change in behavior or, or a reaction of any sort, maybe an allergy, that we can isolate it. Now we're just gonna do a morning play in here to continue positive association. <laughs> okay, so I had to vlog this. So we have his lick mat and we used it yesterday for the first time and he loved it. So this time we came prepared. We went to get some baby food and Daniel loaded this up. So this is plain, no sugar Greek yogurt. This is carrot baby food. This is sweet potato. And then this one is like blueberry pear or something. And each one is like a different texture. Okay, Brio. Okay, so far yogurt is the winner of his favorite things. Let's see. <laughs> 12 minutes later, this is what's left over. He didn't really like the carrot too much and maybe the sweet potato. And then this is his face. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute, but so messy. Did you like that? I just cleaned up the kitchen from dinner and <laughs> making his lick mat for tomorrow so I can put it in the freezer. So I washed it and I'm trying a different technique. Instead of separating the flavors, I'm adding a little bit of each flavor within each quadrant because there's a different texture. So I don't know, I'm just curious to see if it changes the experience because he seemed to really like the yogurt and he also liked the pear and blueberry baby food, but I don't know if it was because he liked these two textures. So I don't know, I'm just curious. So we're trying this out. Also put some sweet potato and then some yogurt. I'm officially done with this camera. It does not autofocus. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I ordered a new one. So the next vlog will be better. Thanks for sticking with me. Today has been, oh, I have the hiccups. Today's been so much better. I just took a shower, so my hair is air drying and it's just been a lazy day at home because there's a big winter storm coming and so it's already started and it snowed a ton which has actually worked out better in our favor for potty training because he is cold and doesn't want to be outside for too long so he is like straight to business we're outside for like 30 seconds and it's great and then also because he does potty on the snow you can see it right away that is a win and today has been such a better day yesterday we were a little bit frustrated because he's like puppy biting and we are kind of going crazy because we're like, oh my God, how do we how do we fix this? So we found a video and I'll link it down below from Zach George. It was just very validating and we really liked that video. And so we watched a few more of Zach's videos. I'll link them down below. And things have just been like a lot more calm and better today. And we're also letting him sleep more. I think like we've been bothering him, taking him out for potty breaks and thinking we have to like play with him and stimulate him. And I think it's just been too much. He's so cute, he's playing by himself. Now he plays by himself in his, in his playpen. And like, he doesn't really cry that much. Not as much as he did before. Like he'll let out a little whimper and then he'll like 
self-soothe and now he's playing with his toys. But yeah, potty's been still really good. Today is Friday and we got him on Sunday. So in total, we've had three accidents inside. One was like not even really an accident, but only three. Knock on wood, he's doing really, really well. We take him out every like hour, hour and a half. Um, and then throughout the night, we do two potty breaks. We have been going to sleep at like 10 and then we take him out at 1 a.m. and we take him out around five and then we get up at like 7, 7.30 and he goes then. So we have really been working on our routine and we're just like so grateful that we have this time over the next two weeks. Like Daniel and I are both off of work for the next two weeks and it is just like, we're really glad we have the time because we already see so much progress with him within like half a day to a day. Like it, it's incredible how smart he is and how quickly he picks things up. Pro tip with the lick mat, yesterday we gave it to him too late. We gave it to him after dinner. We didn't realize that it would make him go potty. So that was one of the accidents that was our fault. So now we give it to him right before dinner so that he does potty after dinner and like that's it for the night. So learned our lesson there. Don't give him the lick mat too late at night. Otherwise, things have been going really, really well. In other news, I made a little thing today. These are so cute. If only you can see it if my camera would focus. I'm really sorry. Thank you for watching this video, even though half of it's not in focus. There we go. So I used my Cricut and I put Brio 2022. So this is like the Brio font from the logo. And then I just put 2022 on the bottom. And I found these at Home Sense a while back. And they're so cute. So I got, this one's ours, our tree. And then I got one for each grandparents. So my parents and Daniel's parents. And I just brought my Cricut Joy here with me. It's just so easy to like pull out and do. But now I have a big mess that I have to clean up. And then I'm working on wrapping wrapping all my presents. I haven't wrapped, I've wrapped like two presents out of everything. I don't know where the time has gone, but I have not done a good job of like wrapping as I go. Daniel's been really good at that. I have not. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I would grab him so you can see him. He's so cute and I already think he's grown. <laughs> I've been taking pictures of him in the mirror every morning, like me holding him so I can measure like his growth and see how much he changes because on the day to day, like you can't see it, but I already think he's grown. Um, he likes being brushed. He likes to chew. Oh, I have to show you like the lifesaver teething toy that we got. We went out yesterday out of kind of desperation because he was like trying to chew everything. We were frustrated with the nipping because he tries to like bite. And um, we found something that goes in the freezer and it's so soothing. It's a Nylabone. So I'll show you in a second. Um, it's cool because it like changes color. It's like orange when it's frozen. And then once it like warms up to room temperature, it's yellow. So, you know, put it back in the freezer. Um, so that's been a lifesaver. Anyways, um, actually he's not crying. Let me grab him for a second. This is Brio. <laughs> You're so cute. Look here, look here. Oh, who do you see? That's you, that's you. I'm a good boy, Brio. Follow me on Instagram, good boy, Brio. I will continue vlogging and documenting this journey, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you in my next vlog <laughs> with a better camera because this one doesn't focus on my face anymore. All right, talk to you later, bye.